glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus declared, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel passage, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. This is the theme scriptural passage of most of our divine retreat centers. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. It's perfect as a verse for a retreat center when they come for a weekend retreat or they come for a one-week retreat. Come to me, all you who are heavy burdened, I will give you rest. It's a very good time for rest in the retreat center. You're more than welcome when things kind of uh, um, work out for us as well and our residential block is done after which you can come and have rest as well. Our theme will remain the same. The scriptural theme will remain the same. And yet, uh, that theme will work out well in, in a retreat center concept, a situation. I remember during one of the retreats that we conducted at the end of the retreat, we had a testimony session and different people came forward to give their testimony. And a lady came forward and she said, this was the most blessed week I've ever had in my life. She said, it was so wonderful because I didn't have to go to work. I didn't have to cook. I didn't have to clean. I could really rest. Well, in a way, that is how the retreat works. So it is beautiful and it's blessed. But at the same time, the reality is, how do we live this verse and how does it become true in our daily life? Is it only meant for, for a retreat setup? Isn't this meant for me on a daily basis? Because I live and carry my heavy burdens on a daily basis. I remember telling um, a mother who was struggling with her family responsibilities. I told her, you should take a break and maybe maybe go and, and spend some time just for yourself, you know, away from your family and just for yourself. And her response was, she said, Father, wherever I go, I will still be a mother. I'll be thinking all the time about my children. I'll be thinking all the time about my family. And that is so true. You cannot detach yourself from your vocation. We're constantly thinking about our vocation. And at times, it's difficult. It is, it is, it is burdensome. It's a burden that we carry. And at times, it is a very, very heavy burden. And this is where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and carrying a heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Why are we carrying these burdens? Even within our, within our own vocations, why are we even carrying it? What is it that makes it so burdensome? The reality is that we are trying to live up to the measuring mark of the world. The world tells us how motherhood should be lived. The world tells us how our fatherhood should be lived. The world tells us how we are supposed to live our vocation, our family life. And we are trying to measure up. We are trying to come up to that expectation. And at times, it's not just about how the world looks at it. It is also about how we look at it. How I believe that I need to be a good mother, a good father. How I believe I need to do things. And not only are we carrying the burdens of our present day, we are also carrying the burdens of the mistakes of the past. 
how maybe I wasn't a good mother. Or maybe I wasn't a good husband. I wasn't a good wife. I wasn't a good priest. And we are carrying those burdens as well. Along with the burdens of our present day. And we are, we are struggling along in life. Trying to meet expectations. Not only of how the world looks at it. But also how we look at ourselves. And this is where this verse makes meaning. Come to me all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. I will give you rest. You come to me. You come to me. And he says, take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. For I'm gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest in your souls. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. You come to me. And I will give you my yoke. Now, this invitation you come to me does not mean that I'm detached from my vocation when I come to the Lord. That I'm detached from my responsibility when I come to the Lord. Rather, when I come to the Lord, actually I see my vocation in its perfect light. The measuring mark with Jesus seems to be even more higher. Because the measuring mark is Jesus himself. And yet Jesus says, come to me and you will not find yourself heavy burdened. Why? Because when we come to the Lord, even as we carry the burdens of our vocation, there is no judgment. There is no condemnation. The Lord is not looking at us carrying our burdens, maybe in its imperfect way. And there is no judgment, there is no condemnation, but rather he comes down and he tells us, sits with us and he tells us, I help carry you. I help you carry your vocation. I help you live your vocation. He comes down to our level. That is what the, the incarnation is all about. God came down onto the earth, dwelt amongst us like us. He felt what we felt. And therefore he comes down to our level. I remember in the, when I was in year four is when I had my first crush. My first crush was my math teacher. You know, uh, in the US you call it math. In, uh, in British English it is maths or mathematics. And it was my mathematics teacher. We all... Uh, no, one of our first crushes generally ends up being our teachers. And she was my first crush. And I've always thought, why? I don't know why. I was a small child. I was just in year four. But I wasn't good in maths. And I struggled through that subject. And I remember, I can still see so clearly the classroom. I can still see myself seated on which bench I was seated. I could remember her classes. She would come. She knew that I was weak. She would not stand in front of me trying to give me corrections. It's very intimidating when you have a teacher and you're weak at a subject and a teacher is standing right on top of you. She would come and she would, she would kind of kneel next to me. She would bend down and she would explain to me and she'd get me do things. Of course, she was kind of prompting most of the answer. But I started feeling good that maybe I get a hang of this. Maybe that is why for me she was my first crush. I'm very grateful to God for her. I never turned out into a student who did amazingly well in maths. I still carried the burden of maths. But someone who came and sat with me. Someone who came and journeyed with me. And I think that is where this verse becomes so meaningful to us. Come to me, all you who are carrying heavy burdens. He doesn't say, I will take away the burdens of your vocation. I'll take away the difficulties of your vocation. But he says, I will journey with you. You be with me. You be with me and your vocation will bear fruit. You be with me and I will help you carry it. Remain in me. That is why in John chapter 15 Verse 7, this is the NRSV Bible, but in uh, certain other translations, you, you read in 15 verse 7 of John, it is, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, 
In certain translations, it is, if you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Take verse 5 of John chapter 15, verse 5. I am the wine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit. And we can be confident. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. I'm confident of this. That the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. Dear friends, whatever your vocation is, maybe you're carrying it and you're struggling with a heavy burden. Maybe the heavy burden of marriage. Trying to be a good spouse, but it's not working. Maybe the heavy burden of being a parent. You're trying your level best, but you're struggling. Maybe you're in religious life. You're a priest. You're a nun. And you're trying your best. It doesn't seem to be working. You're carrying that heavy burden. You're in single life and you're trying to make your life worthy of God. And still you're struggling. Whatever your vocation is and whatever burden you're carrying, Jesus is telling you today, come to me. I will give you rest. I will help you carry it. And he'll be there by our side with no condemnation and no judgment, but teaching us step by step. However experienced we are in the vocation we are in, still teaching us step by step how we need to live our vocation and be fruitful as we remain in him. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Jesus, Lord, this is one of the most comforting verses that you have spoken to us. Come to me, all you who are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy. It is light. Lord Jesus, we know that we have to carry the struggles of our vocation every day. At times it is not easy. We don't get a holiday from it. If not physically, mentally, we are still in our vocations. Even when we are away from our families, when we are away from our responsibilities. And yet our minds are constantly thinking about the responsibility and the burdens of our vocation. But we come to you every day in prayer. We come to you every day when we have our union with you. We come to you at the Eucharist to remain in you so that we might bear fruit in abundance. We understand we have to carry our burden. But Lord, when we remain in you and carry it, it feels all the more light. Strengthen us, Lord, and let us never lose hope. Amen.